Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be talking about FreeBSD, the best operating system we're afraid you may never have heard of. It's free, and here to walk us through FreeBSD are Matt Olander, Chief Technology Officer of my server, and Murray Stokely, Vice President of Engineering for FreeBSD Mall. You guys are not lightweights in the BSD community. No, absolutely not. Uh, we've both been working with FreeBSD for quite some time. We were both part of uh, BSDI, mm -hmm. which was one of the original developers of the BSD uh, kernel. Very cool. Now you're gonna, you got a, a shocking thing. You're gonna like install a FreeBSD kernel in like three minutes. Yes, that's exactly right. When it, uh, Matt's brought one of their server machines here. Uh, this is a 1U machine. It's pretty basic, a Pentium 3. I'm gonna go ahead and get a basic server installation installed on here, Apache web server and that sort of thing, uh, as quickly as possible. And then we can, while this is going in the background, we can continue talking about what FreeBSD strengths are. You install it. Right. What exactly is FreeBSD? What, is, what does that mean? Uh, FreeBSD is an alternative operating system. Mm -hmm. It's great stuff. Been around for a long time based on the, uh, the Unix BSD kernel developed at Berkeley University. So it's been in heavy development for over 25 years. Uh, development's one of the biggest things that separates FreeBSD absolutely, from Linux. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it's got a totally different development philosophy mm -hmm. than Linux. Linux is, uh, you know, one man controls the source code, whereas FreeBSD, you have an entire core team mm -hmm. with hundreds of committers that can actually make changes to the, to the source code. Got it. So, and you were talking to me about that earlier. Yeah, that's exactly right. We've got a lot more, uh, I think the way that we develop software is a lot more akin to uh, somewhere like Sun Microsystems or Microsoft develop software. We've got a, uh, a source code repository. We've got a number of groups uh, focusing on different things. So we've got security officer team that makes sure uh, it is responsible for our excellent record with the third advisors, for example, uh, really taking care of issues as soon as they become made known to us. We've also got release engineers and, and port managers to work on the various platforms that we're supported and in maintaining 8,000 uh, different third-party applications and Sure, they work on FreeBSD. Very nice. They run cleanly on FreeBSD. Now, who, a lot of big companies are actually using FreeBSD. Tell me about a couple of them. Yeah, absolutely. Yahoo uses it extensively. They built their entire website on a FreeBSD cluster. Uh, Juniper Networks built their empire on FreeBSD routers using embedded FreeBSD. Uh, Cox Communications, a large telco. Mm -hmm. Apache, the uh, Apache web server site, runs FreeBSD. And I, I mean, it's really endless. So how come more people don't know about, you know, we, we talked a little bit about the, the philosophical underpinnings, how the decisions on the operating system get made. How else does it differ from Linux? What are the big differences? You know, it's, it's funny you say that, Patrick. I mean, the, the uber elite geeks right. have known about it forever, right? right. And so now it's just kind of coming to light. Uh, there was some problems with the lawsuit with AT&T mm -hmm. during Linux's birth that they kept it all quiet. Uh, but one of the biggest differences I see is, is the ports collection on FreeBSD. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's got over 8,000 ports now. That's exactly right. Um, of course, as with any of the Linux distributions, we allow uh, binary packages. We've got package management tools, so you just from the command line you can type uh, package add Apache and it'll automatically download Apache from your nearest FTP mirror, install it cleanly in your system with any dependencies that may be required. Uh, but we've also got something that Linux doesn't have, and which we can do because we have a complete operating system. We're not just a kernel and, and packaging right. up a bunch of GNU software and, and elsewhere from the internet. So we have a lot of control over the overall uh, look and feel of the system, and we provide this. It's a very Apple pillar. statement, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe to feel. some degree. But anyway, our, our ports collection allows us um, to do a lot of cool things. For example, uh, you guys are working on the uh, some of the new Opteron hardware right. from AMD. Right. It's not really available yet to the public, but. Uh, as soon as that hits the market, we're going to want to ship FreeBSD machines running this with all of the applications, um, you know, ported and optimized for this new architecture. And to do that, we, we've got the ports collection. So we can specify a few uh, make configuration options, and such as uh, compiling for 64-bit mode and, uh, and up, up to on optimizations. And then, with just one command, you can make a patch. You could uh, download its, uh, source code from the Internet, any patches, uh, configure it, build it, install it, and clean up after itself all with one command. So, so no package managers, no digging around uh, the find RPM, the hell, hell, no way. <laughs> Scary. Where can folks find me? Where, where can our viewers track down their own copy of BSD? Uh, FreeBSDmall.com, you know, 30, 40 bucks, you get the, the whole box set there. Uh, we also manufacture custom FreeBSD rack mount servers at offmyserver.com. And of course, you can still download it? You betcha. Absolutely, you it's can. It's available also as a retail package at uh, CompUSA for us and the major retail stores and in America. And you can download it your from FreeBSD.org. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a scoot. Excellent. Almost up. We're going to show you after commercial break. Thanks a lot for coming on, Matt Murray. Make sure you check out our website. We've got more information on FreeBSD. You're going to love it.